The member is recognized. I thank the uh, chairwoman for recognizing me. Madam Chair, I rise in opposition to the 302Bs proposed here today. Last year, both Republicans and Democrats negotiated the Bipartisan Budget Act of 2019. We had to do that because we didn't pass a budget. And that's a serious breach of our duty as a Congress. But we established discretionary spending caps for fiscals 20 and 21. We adhered to those caps in the FY20 appropriations bills. And I can tell you it's troubling to me. And it should be troubling to all Americans that we are busting through those caps in 2021. It's fiscally irresponsible. It blows up all the good faith efforts and the terms agreed to by both parties. If there is not a better example as to why budget process reform should not be at the very highest of our agenda, then I think where we are today makes that case. We are maxing out our credit cards, and we're going to ask future generations to pay for this. At some point in time, the Congress has to wake up from its drunken stupor and begin to recognize what we're doing to future generations. No budget. The chance of passing appropriations bills and having them signed into law on time is, is incredibly, uh, to me, it's just not going to happen. Mm -hmm. And we are wasting these opportunities. So, Madam Chair, I hope our colleagues on the other side will recommit to the terms of the spending caps. I hope we'll set aside the political posturing. I hope we can come together to both fund our nation's needs and prioritize fiscal discipline. I urge us to stay within the spending limits, work together to advance these bills, fund our government, and serve the American people. And with that, I yield back my time.